is Sean Smith and I'm with Emergency Visions. I'm coming to you today with an update on hurricane season 2013. At Emergency Visions, we provide products and services for disaster resource management that assist our clients in preparing for and responding to the new normal, where disasters are more numerous and they're larger in scale and scope. Certainly with the effects of Superstorm Sandy, fresh in mind from what happened in the Northeast last year, people have been thinking this hurricane season about what's going to happen in 2013. We started off the season with a very expected above average season by most of the major uh, folks that are providing prognostication in this area. Uh, today there's been a, uh, or recently there's been an update that I'd like to share with you. So here are the revised 2013 hurricane predictions and this is courtesy from our friends at the Weather Underground. You'll see the folks like NOAA, you'll see also Colorado State University, you'll see the folks uh, from FSU that are providing their updates on the expected named storms through the season. And you'll see it's mostly between 14 and 18, and they are still predicting several intense hurricanes, the ones that reach category three level or higher to make landfall on the continental US. Most of these are, are fairly recent updates that have come in the last month or two. Uh, what's really interesting is we actually at Emergency Visions had Dr. William Gray from Colorado State University on one of our webinars. If you're interested, see our website, emergencyvisions.com, under the news and events area, and you'll find a link to that webinar where you, see, you will hear Dr. Gray talk about uh, the 2013 season. But it is a very active season, so what's going on right now? And you'll see that today there are actually two storms that are, uh, that are appearing. Tropical storm Aaron recently formed off of the coast of Africa. Aaron is actually the fifth named storm of the season, and if you think of a season where Dorian, the last named storm, was actually the second earliest Cape Verde storm, one forming off the coast of Af Africa, that we've ever seen in the history of, of uh, hurricane tracking. Having Aaron coming pretty fast on the heels of Dorian is pretty ominous in terms of the number of storms that they expect to come off that coast of Africa and potentially threaten the United States. Meanwhile, over in the Caribbean, we've got an investment area that they're looking at where they're expecting a tropical storm coming into the Gulf to make landfall either in Texas or along the Louisiana coast. So at Emergency Visions, our clients are very interested in this season, so are we. We'll always keep you informed on the latest of what's going on through this hurricane season and the other emergencies that happen around the globe. Thanks for tuning in.